Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Reyes in another video on NLGK and in this video, I'll be talking about something called stop words. So what are stop words? So uh, let's say there's a sentence like, uh, what are you doing? Uh, in this sentence, uh, in general, R is a stop word, which means that it's a, it's a pretty uh, common word which doesn't actually offer any meaning to us. So the reason why we use such uh, stop words or why we identify is not because we are interested in those stop words, but because we are interested in what is left. So it is like filtering out uh, uh, coffee, uh, not because you want uh, the uh, you know the hard particles which you don't want to uh, do anything with, but actual clear coffee. You know, I, this might be a bad example, but you get the analogy. So. Similarly, what uh, we can do over here using NLT is that we can compare in any language. Uh, we can check what are the stop words and we can retrieve the data which is not the stop word. I mean, which is not a stop word. So major websites use uh, this kind of technology to uh, filter out a lot of junk and to actually form a gist. So let's get started. Let's see how it can be done. So. I start off with the Python console and uh, over here I'll just say import uh, just a sec. So from nltk.corpus I'll say import stop words. Alright, so now we have something called stop words uh, object or methods uh, ready for us. So what we can do is that I can say English stop words ensw. Uh, is equal to stop words dot words and uh, I pass in an argument stating the language so now I'm saving it as a uh, as an array so I'll just show you what we get all right so as you can see over here we have uh, I me my myself and all these words uh, till you know wouldn't uh, want weren't and all these things which will actually I mean which which are pretty uh, common and which don't actually carry much meaning so we need to filter out our statements uh you know whenever we use uh, when, whenever we want to just uh, give out a gist we can directly uh you know form that by just uh, removing these words which are which occur quite a lot so the next thing we do is that uh, let's let's let me just show you how to test it i'll show you how to test it right now so uh if you remember we have a word tokenizer so from nltk dot tokenized import word underscore tokenize right so it seems to be working so if you remember we have a tokenizer that i explained in the second video so in that we have a word tokenizer that uh, splits up a sentence into words so let me form a sentence right now let's say uh, i have a sentence uh, let's say uh, or I'll say I'll have a pair of sentences in a paragraph. So let's say para parag one is equal to what are you doing exactly right now? And then let's say I wanted to go or get to my office. No, some something something uh, random, you know. So parag one is this. Uh, so now I want to filter out, I want to, you know, filter out the words which are important for me in the sentence. So what do I, what do I do is that I remove the stop words. So before that, let me save it as an array. So let's say para, para array is equal to word underscore tokenize. And then I'll pass the argument, which is parag one. And if I... So as you can see, I have all the words right now over here. So basically I have uh, the list of words and also I have ENSW, which is the list of, uh, you know, uh, the stop words. So if you're, uh, if you're well acquainted with Python, you know that you can use a lot of, uh, lots of ways to filter out. You can use uh, double for loops, uh, you can use uh, while loop and all these, no, not while loop, probably. So yeah probably you can use a while loop as well so um another much more uh, faster way is to just you know uh, do this so let's say filter array uh, there is something called uh, you know list comprehension in python so if you are acquainted with that uh, you you can use it so 
uh, let's say filter array. So I want to create a filter array. Uh, so I'll say uh, something like item for item in uh, we want to search in our parag array uh, if so basically it will check for each item in our parag array and with the condition that if item not in uh, if, if it is not inside our uh, let's say uh, the ensw all right so now filter array if i access you see that we have very less number of uh, words so all these top words have been removed so what exactly right i wanted get office so you see uh, it has removed a lot of uh, you know a lot, lot of words which are not required so uh, but as you can see over here we have an i over here but we also have an i in this top word so technically that's a problem because this is a uh this is a lowercase i and uh, the one the uppercase one has not been removed so uh, with much more practice and much more detailed uh, coding we can achieve that as well but i just wanted to show you guys this one this quick uh, way to you know uh, use stop words so i hope uh, this was clear so uh, to j just give you a brief uh, about you know how what we did so first we have a sentence so a sentence and then that has been tokenized so that is called parag1 so parag1 has been tokenized to parag r and using this array we uh, we also imported uh, something called you know uh, the stop words over here from nltk.corpus so from the stop, stop words we have something called words method which will get english words and then we saved it in ensw after we do that, we compare ENSW with our parag array to achieve what is called to achieve what is called as you know to achieve what is called as uh, uh, you know the present array, which is uh, filter array. All right, guys. Uh, so that's about it about uh, on this tutorial. So I hope you learned something, and I hope uh, you know uh, this was uh, educational. So go ahead and try it out, and I hope uh, you liked it. So uh, give it a thumbs up if you did, and also share this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.